That's a solid five freaking onion rings. And I have the Fresh Roast SR540 right here that I got off Amazon, or actually my wife did, because she knew how much I love fresh roasted coffee. And she was tired of me melting down a lot of her pans with my super special way of roasting coffee. So she broke down and bought me the SR540. And I have to say, I absolutely love it. It's a little bit base. It's electronically controlled. It has a nice size decanter on it or a nice size container. Now I've had this a few times and I did a live stream of my very first batch, which tasted amazing. So if nothing else, it shows exactly how easy this thing is to use to make great coffee. You're going to want four ounces of beans. It is pouring rain outside right now. So what I always do with my beans, and I've done this since the dawn of time, you hit on off and you get your settings, push the button. And I like to start with a high fan, low heat. Sorry for the rain here. And I like to go up in time to about 13 or 14 minutes. Now it will not take this long for four ounces to go. Sorry for the rain here, of course. But what I like to do is start it off high fan, low heat to dry the beans out, the green beans and then crank up the heat while turning the fan down until they get to the exact roast I like. So we're just gonna start here. Ideally, you would see bubbling. And if you don't see the beans moving, then you really need to turn up the fan speed. So if they didn't move, I would turn them up. And some beans are heavier. So we're one minute down and the beans are taking on a very small amount of, there's a very, very small amount of smoke. I always recommend you do this outside because this does produce a lot of smoke. Now, when the beans start sh showing shaft coming off, that's perfect. Now's the time I turn my fan down, so push the button, I turn my fan down to about four so it will still bubble and then I turn my heat well let me do this push the button and I turn my heat up to about seven six seven eight depends on the bean but you'll watch them as the beans dry out they get lighter so you don't need as much fan speed but I like to cook them to roast them for about nine minutes total after they get to the spot where they are now I keep an eye on them so that they're always in motion and if they're not I will turn that fan speed back up. And if you notice some have already started turning colors. This is Coffee Dog Assistant and you'll hear a first crack. It sounds like popcorn around this stage where it's about this color. You'll start to hear popping sounds. And that normally occurs over one to two minutes. So we're already three minutes, three and a half, almost four minutes into the roast, which is great. That's about where you'd want to start hearing popping sounds. And you'll start to see shaft flying off. It's just a little bit of a papery skin. This thing's great. There's more popping. So we're probably halfway through with the roasting already to my desired place. And if you'll notice, the volume keeps increasing as the beans dry out and fluff up. We're five minutes in. Like I say, I'll probably do a seven to nine minute roast on these. So we are seven minutes in and looking very good. The second crack has just started a few pops here and there, nothing exciting yet. And it's around this stage where the second crack really comes in. So you have to keep your eyes on it to make sure they don't go too dark. And you'll want to hear, sounds like a good fire going, not quite, but like a mix between popcorn and fire. 
just a little bit of a popping sound. Unfortunately, with the rain and everything, it's hard to hear. So you just have to keep your eyes on the color. Actually, even without rain, this machine covers it up with the fan sound. So I just keep my eyes on the color and the time. So we're now at the nine minute mark, which is about perfect for me. And for these particular beans, now every bean is different. So to keep an eye on the color, trial and error. Um, some beans like to be darker, some like to be lighter. I tend to go on the light side since I like the flavor of where I get the beans more than I like the roast. So unless I'm just doing cheap espresso or even good espresso, I keep it about here. That is about where I want. So now that I have it at the area I want, there's actually a cool down. A cool down. So you get a C. I'm going to drop the heat way down. I'm going to turn the fan speed up to help cool my beans off. You see they're a lot more energetic now to cool off. And I give it about a minute there. One thing about beans, they hold a lot of residual heat, so if you don't cool them down quickly, you'll end up over roasting. And you'll have something that tastes like Starbucks. I will warn you, this gets very hot. So when you go to pick it up, I always use a towel or a shirt or something. Because even after cooling, this is very hot. It's very thick plastic, and I'll show you in a minute. So it's right about here. It's been about a minute to cool off. They're looking perfect as far as what I like. They're still hot, but they are looking great. I tend to do just blow off to make sure all the shaft goes away so I have clean beans. And then once I'm there, like I said, this is very thick plastic and it's hot. So once you're here, turn this out, blow the shaft out. They look like this. Dumped into a pan to help cool off. Make sure all the shaft is away. Dump in, but is that not gorgeous? So like I say, I, I use the timer, but only as an aid. You have to judge it yourself if you want the best. Otherwise, you're just leaving it to a machine's whims. And honestly, it's like a science experiment. Every coffee bean is different. And normally the best judge is in that 8 to 12 minute mark and based on color. And that comes with experience. So these look amazing to me for exactly what I like and they're already cooled down so that cooling fan is very nice and yeah these are these are perfect this is the top that contains all the shaft that I dumped out by mistake so normally it fits there we go this is the top once you take off the lid all the shaft normally stays inside but I opened it and blue like an idiot and yeah so this is very thick plastic it does have it has hooks that fit in so it's a tight fit and even in the instructions it says run it a few times and these will fit together better they kind of mold to each other it's very thick plastic so i don't worry about melting ever but it gets hot as all get out so just be careful on that the chaffing container, you just fill it basically to the line. Um, I measure out four ounces exactly because that's what they recommend. And that seems to be great for the amount of strength that the fan has to move beans around because that's important. So overall, I have a link down below. This is probably the easiest way to get great coffee 
much cheaper than buying month old bags that sit in the grocery store or in Starbucks or any of those fancy places where they just overcharge you for over roasted beans. This is considered a city roast, just so you know. And then anything darker, you start to get to your French roast, your Italian roast, uh, your espresso roast, they'll be much darker and very oily. This is exactly where I want it whenever I buy good beans so that I can taste the actual origin. If I were to buy cheap beans, I would roast them much farther and just make very dark coffee out of it or possibly espresso. And if I get better beans, I keep it around here. So that's going to do it. Bam. Thank you very much.